not that big, but man, took me on a ride. Welcome back to the beautiful state of Maine. Now today, I wasn't really planning on filming, but after getting out here, taking two casts, and hooking up to two fish, I got this feeling that it's gonna be a really good day. Now today, I am using my favorite fly, um, period. This is the Golden Retriever. It is a fantastic pattern to use in Maine for all species, and um, especially in this body of water I'm using, it's quite famous for. Now, I, I tie these up all myself. If you guys want to help support my channel, I would be happy to tie these. this Golden Retriever. I have a lot of different patterns for it. Or if uh, you need, want any other patterns, I'd be happy to help you out with that too. So yeah, help support the channel. Anyway, so I'm gonna start pushing past this pool right in front of me. I think um, I've taken a couple more casts. Oh, there's one. Nice. Right behind that rock, I knew there, there just had to be a few fish there. Looks like it's another landlocked salmon. This is just such a good fly for this area. Um, you know, one important thing to do is just fish a fly you have confidence in. And for me, it's the golden retriever. It's my go-to fly. I definitely encourage you guys to give it a try, whether you have me tied up for you or not. It's just such a good pattern. Man, five minutes in, and I don't know, this is probably fishing at four or something. They're all about this cookie cutter size right here. All, all but one have been stocked. This one looks, yep, look, this one's a native too. Uh, just beautiful fish here. We'll just let him go on his way. I don't really plan on eating any today, so we're gonna try to keep them all nice and healthy for other people to catch. See you guys. Awesome. Okay, well, let's get back out there. We're gonna start pushing a little further. I'm gonna fish off that rock a few more times and uh, we're just gonna keep going. Today is looking like it's gonna be a really good day for fishing at this rate. Oh, that was a strike. Come on, come back, come back. No, I missed him. All right, keep going a little further. There's, there's a lot more fish in this water from what I've seen so far. Oh my gosh, this is insane. It's just cast after cast here. Unbelievable. It's like stacked up like it would be fall right now. So I'm using a, um, a trout spay. This is a Reddington series, uh, the Reddington uh, Hydrogen. And I paired it with a Reddington Rise. Uh, just my favorite series of reels for looks and function. All right, let's get this little guy in, take a look at him, and he'll be on his way. Awesome. Just another nice, healthy fish. Oh my gosh, look how plump this fish is. Look how plump you are. <laughs> really healthy, another native. Doesn't get any better than this. All on this golden. It's good, good look at him. What a good looking fish. No real size, but just thick and healthy. And let's try to keep him that way. Yeah, so I don't know if I mentioned it, but today I am fishing Grand Lake Stream. It is just one of my favorite places to fish in Maine. Uh, there's so many good spots, but at least when I fish here, you know, it's well known and you know, it's kind of hard to spot burn when all the pools are named. Uh, I'm not going to name the pools I fish specifically unless it's, you know, the hatchery pool, but uh, yeah, you guys can probably figure that out on your own if you look at the terrain. Just saying. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. There's fish all over this river. I got river. I got a couple buddies upstream that are catching some fish, and uh, although this hole does seem to be doing a bit better right now. Um, but we're going to start pushing further out. I think I've caught all I can in between, and it's been about 20 minutes now, so... Let's start reaching out to the where I really think there's going to be some fish, yes. Sure enough, there's one right there. Holy, this guy's excited. 
Another landlocked salmon. They're so fun to catch, guys. You really have to make a trip up here. And if you really want to catch some fish, hire one of the local guides. They will put you on some fish in no time. Let's try to hand catch this one. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I have a net with me. But we'll just get him on his way right away. Get a quick underwater shot. And oh yeah, he's, he's clicked away nice and healthy. So continue. I'm going to use the net though. That was not my best choice. Let's actually get some line out there and I'll do a real spay cast for once. Now that we're starting to push to the other side. Oh, oh, there's a fish coming. It's coming. He's coming, he's coming, and he's got it. Man, this is insane, guys. Absolutely insane. I cannot believe this right now. This is the one of the best days I have had on the river so far, uh, fishing this body of water. Where are you going, dude? <laughs> Let's put that net to use. Another nice, healthy looking fish. Beauty. Still using that golden retriever. It's just such a good pattern. He's actually uh, bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna get him right on his way here. Um, but he should be okay. It's not in his gill or anything. It's just right along the lip. Let's get some real spay cast in there. Love it, that was a perfect cast. Will it catch fish? That's the real question. Yes, it will. Oh my gosh, I just had that feeling. You just can't top this. I haven't even moved. Just fishing this one hole. <laughs> I'm really kind of speechless. I don't really know what else to say. Or, I, geez, I don't know how much I can film of this. Like, there's only so many ways you can film catching fish before everyone gets bored. So, I'll probably catch a few more here and then uh, I'm gonna set the cameras down for the most part and just maybe catch a couple clips and make a montage. I think that's gonna be the plan now. Uh, just enjoy the fishing like I was already planning on doing. I don't always film my, my ooh, taking me in some drag. I don't know if I loosened it, but that's the first time I've really seen drag with this rod. I'd say he's a little better. Kind of beat up, but yeah, I, that's, uh, that's definitely the best fish I've caught as of so far. I don't know, 19 inches, 20 inches. Nice fish, he's just got a little marks on him, but we'll get him back in the water. He's probably stocked, I don't, he's not as healthy as the other ones. Here, we'll get some more underwater footage for you. Now that I got two GoPros, I can actually do that without hurting him anyway. And he's off. Awesome. Oof. We're just crushing it. Um, yeah, I think this is the last one that I'm actually going to film. We're going to do some other maybe dry fly fishing today. Um, but wow, he came in nice and easy. But yeah, we're going to let him go and let's switch over and have a nice montage of all the fish I'm catching. <laughs> You got some? Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I know. It's a good hole. Looks like you did well down here. Oh my gosh. That was probably one of my best days. Oh good. Ever. There was, I think I pulled 30 plus fish out of there. Wow. Yeah, it, it was ridiculous. Wow. So that was an incredible day. Did you catch them all on dries? No, I caught them all on streamers. Every single one. Really? Not one dry. 
Huh. They were crushing it. In the morning, it was every cast. I was using um, a couple of variations in the morning. Golden Retriever yeah. was killing it. And then once that slowed down, I switched out to a root beer Golden Retriever and I would swap back and forth. If it would go Does like- Does have weight on it? Yeah. Oh, you've bead. got a bead head on that. Yeah, just a yeah. small bead. Interesting. Yeah. All right, it's time to switch over, guys. That was the best morning I have ever had here in Grand Lake Stream. Period. No question about it. That was, uh, I have no idea how many fish I caught. Just, it was one after another. Just such a great time. And uh, yeah, so we're moving on now. I'm gonna switch it over to do some dry flies. Um, switch spots here, and I caught a couple little brook trout. You're good. Uh, actually, one of them was of decent size. And um, I've been using a Parachute Adams in green. Um, I really like to use this pattern. It's, uh, it has such a good profile in the water. It floats well. It's uh, just one of my favorites. I carry this in like seven different colors and it's kind of my go-to. Unless I'm really trying to match the hatch perfectly, this is my searching pattern and just my all-around favorite for dries, really. Yeah, so I caught a couple on that, just a, a few brook trout. And right now I'm trying to target the salmon that's right in front of Aroy. I don't know if he's been seeing it rise, but it's right on the other side of that big rock there. And we'll see if I can catch him here. I've been trying for a little bit, not gonna lie. Uh, I did switch, so I, I started off with a, a yellow parachute atoms, and I switched over this green. I'm hoping that it'll like that a little more. I, it's also a size 12, I think, so a bit bigger. Come on, bite it. Hey, there he is. Whoa! This guy's going crazy. Oh my gosh, he's gonna knock me over. Look at him go. This, uh, this is the best fish of the day right here, I'm pretty sure. Got some good size and power to him. Awesome. Man, it just doesn't get any. Oh, well, that was a fumble right there. Surprised I didn't lose him. That's a salmon for sure. Yup, no mistake in that. Awesome. It's a pretty good one, too. It just doesn't get much better than those guys. You gotta come to Maine and try out Grand Lake Stream. Just... That was a pretty good spot there. I didn't catch any uh, footage of that one. I just took a picture of him for Instagram. If you wanna follow me on there, I'll put a link up below where you can do that. Uh, but yeah, time to move on. Let's uh, switch the spots up here. I think we're gonna move up to the hatchery pool, get a little closer to pick up. So how many did you get out of that hole? I got three, lost three. two. Yeah. What about you? All salmon for you? Yeah. Yeah. I had one, the second brookie was pretty decent. Yeah, Both almost, native. It it. That was fun. And then that salmon almost knocked knocked me over. Yeah, I saw that. Jeez, came charging right at me. <laughs> I moved up to the hatchery pool. I caught a couple brook trout still using uh, that dark green parachute atoms that I was earlier. Uh, but I'd be lying if I would say that I knew what they were jumping for. They're actually jumping all over, but I am just struggling to match the hatch. Um, I switched over to a small uh, CDC merger pattern. I like to fish this one when I don't know what they're rising for or when I see light rises where they're just kind of slurping at the surface. Uh, it just, to me, that usually says that they are going after an emerger. Something you can't see. So this one for me fishes just below the surface, kind of in the film. And a lot of times I'll fish it on a dropper. Um, that way, because you can't really see it. I, there we go. That's a landlock right there. Pretty decent one at that. This will probably be the last fish that I can show off with the light that we have now. But man, it's been a fantastic day. So I cannot complain at all. This was the best day I have ever had in Grand Lake Stream, hands down. Just uh, a day I'll really never forget here. If I can ever land this one. Come on, buddy. Um, 
Well, maybe I'll cut this one so no one ever knows how long it took me to get this fish in the net. <laughs> he does not want to come in. Here we go. You can do it. Yep. Yep. Hey, I did it. <laughs> oh, man. That's a decent one. Oh, no. Shoot, that's way in his gill. Crap. That sucks. I don't think this one will make it. Yeah, that's way in his gill. Um, he'll bleed out. He's already bleeding. What's the size? 14? Okay. No, I'll just eat him. Well, guys, um, unfortunately, that is a byproduct of fishing. And uh, you know what? That's, that's okay, because when whenever that happens to me, I just, you know, I just eat my catch. Uh, so, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. I guess this uh, will be my first landlocked salmon catch and cook. He's actually a... This is actually a decent fish. I'm pretty skinny, but nice fish. It'll make a good meal. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was just an incredible day. Now, I already have so much content that I think I'm gonna have to break this into two parts. And I'm trying to figure out if you guys really do like catch and cooks. So um, I wanna find out how many people just wanna see fishing and how many people just wanna see catch and cook. So if you do wanna see that, hit that like button because I am trying to figure out what you guys wanna see. I wanna make content tailored to what the majority of you guys like. Really encourage you guys, if you haven't been to Grand Lake Stream, go out there. Spring is an amazing time to fish it, I'll give it that. That was the best day in the books that I've had at Grand Lake Stream and I'm glad I got to capture some of it on film. Such a great memory. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see that catch and cook, you should consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next adventure.